Biodiversity loss is occurring at an alarming rate across the world's terrestrial, freshwater and marine environments. Many species and ecosystems remain at risk of being lost forever. Hence, the need to conserve specific natural places that are important for the human race, keeping in mind that the human race cannot exist outside of nature. This is Bird Life Africa's side program video series. In this video on key biodiversity areas, also known as KBAs, we will look at what KBAs are nationally and globally. Key biodiversity areas, or KBAs, are sites, meaning specific natural places that contribute significantly to the global persistence of biodiversity. KBAs can be marine, freshwater, terrestrial, and subterranean. KBAs identify the most important places for species and their habitat using a globally standardized, science-based approach called the KBA Standards. The KBA Standard was launched in 2016 alongside the KBA Partnership, which consists of world's 13 leading conservation organizations. Currently, there are 16,356 KBAs identified worldwide. Sites qualify as global KBAs if they meet one or more of 11 criteria clustered into five broader categories, which are 1. Threatened biodiversity, which are at risk of extinction. 2. Geographically restricted biodiversity, which are only found in a few places globally. 3. Ecological integrity, which is naturally undisturbed places. 4. Biological processes, which includes species gathering in high numbers and breeding areas. And the last one, which is irreplaceability, which is the uniqueness of a site. What makes the KB approach special? The KB approach provides a unifying framework that harmonizes existing site-based conservation initiatives. For the first time, the conservation community has rallied around a common approach. Politically, KBAs have provided an effective tool for countries to deliver or meet international standards like ICI Target 11 and 12 on site and species conservation as well as SDG Target 14.51 on marine, 15.12 on terrestrial and freshwater, and 15.41 on mountains. With the recent release of the post-2020 Global Biodiversity Framework, KBAs remain an ideal tool for delivering on the target of conserving 30% of land and sea. In Ghana, there are currently 45 KBAs spread across the country. 40 of these were initially designated as important bed areas, also known as IBS, though the sites are also important for the conservation of non-avian taza. Presently, only two of the 45 KBAs in Ghana have been assessed against the global standards for at least one biological trigger element. These are Ankasa Conservation Area, for which the current KBA trigger is a critically endangered site endemic pudent frog, and Atiwa Range Forest Reserve, for which the current KBA trigger is also a critically endangered site endemic Ephia Brago pudent frog. A lot of work still needs to be done to collect information on species that can meet the KBA criteria for all 45 sites and other sites that may hold significant proportion of global biodiversity. These sites and all sites that are crucial for biodiversity and mankind. Remember, man cannot exist without nature. All human communities rely on resources from sites for sustenance and the KB approach is a chance to empirically identify the strongholds for biodiversity so that we can conserve these areas as we simultaneously pursue sustainable economic development. We now know what key biodiversity areas, also known as KBS, are and why they are important both nationally and globally. Safeguarding these sites and the biological diversity that these sites hold will support persistence of ecosystem services and maintain cultural heritage. Let us therefore join hands in identifying more of these sites and conserve them for posterity. <music>